Hey guys, it's me, Shani, and today I'm going to be doing a huge girly birthday haul. I have so many things to show you, some gifts, some things I bought myself, so if you are interested, then keep on watching. So this is not going to be in any particular order. I had such an amazing birthday and like birthday month really because I celebrated in Asheville, North Carolina with my boyfriend and he proposed. Check out my recent video to see more about that. Um, but yeah, it was an amazing birthday weekend and then later on I went and visited my family in New York and we celebrated then as well so it's just been a lot of celebrating and i'm so thankful for not only the sweet gifts that i'm going to show but also just time spent with family and friends has been so amazing let's get into the haul first i'm gonna start with the things i got in north carolina on my birthday weekend so just some little things i got this built more magnet because me and my boyfriend love collecting magnets from places we go to. I also found a vintage postcard of the estate or of the mansion. Isn't that so cute? I don't know what year this is from but it definitely looks vintage. Then I also got this little card. This is new, not vintage, of Elegant Evening at Biltmore and I just thought it was really cute. And then in this bag here, Christmas at Biltmore Christmas ornament. How cute is that? So then some vintage items I got that weekend. I found these 1950s little gloves. They're like a really pretty shade of salmon pink, I guess I would say, and they have the little bow detailing at the top, which I think is so stunning. Let's try them on. Went to a few different antique stores in Asheville and it was just so fun, but like look at these and they fit perfectly. I was like, I cannot pass these up. <laughs> I love them. I just love vintage gloves and I was so excited to find these and then I also found a vintage nightgown which I also love and I don't have a blue one so this is my first blue nightgown so it is so gorgeous with this lace detailing and it's a short nightgown so it just kind of goes down uh, not too long and it actually has the original tag on it as well and Kaiser is what it's saying and uh, fitting pretty with stretch lace yeah I just couldn't believe it has the original tag as well I haven't worn it yet but I'm so excited to it just I love this shade of blue and it just seems really soft and comfortable like how cute is this oh my gosh not sure what year this is from i definitely think it's vintage but it might be like the 60s 70s then the last thing i found in north carolina is this gorgeous gorgeous vintage dress from i believe the 1960s it is so gorgeous with the lace and it is this pink pale pink with blue flowers on it and just look at this oh my gosh I'm gonna have to get better close-ups of it but it's just so stunning and then it has lace at the bottom as well but I just love this so much and I'm so excited to add this to my vintage dress collection it's just so pretty and girly and princessy. Yeah, and I was actually hoping to find a vintage dress on my birthday. We went antiquing and I found it that day. It was just really fun and exciting and I just love it. Randy I got of course my engagement ring that was kind of a birthday gift not completely he said but you know that was part of my birthday gift and then he also paid for a photo shoot of our engagement photos which was so special and then he also bought me everything 
from that weekend so the vintage things I showed you um, and just lunch and dinner and everything so he definitely did an amazing job with my birthday weekend uh, so that was really special let's get into the gifts now I have a ton of gorgeous beautiful cards from my amazing family about the engagement and my 25th birthday so love that from my amazing aunt karen i got a tj maxx gift card which i cannot wait to use i got the most gorgeous audrey hepburn book i'm so excited to read this this is audrey hepburn in paris look at this cover I am obsessed and she also gave me this ooh la la Paris bookmark so excited to to have this I don't know I've never even heard of this book I have a few Audrey Hepburn books but nothing like this so I am just thrilled about this one I have this gorgeous bag from my parents look at this it is so cute with the castle and the carriage oh my gosh and it like pops out kind of the most perfect bag my mom got me this beautiful little blouse it's like lace and ivory colored and she thought it looked kind of vintagey they also got me this cute little black and white top i really like the look of this one my mom, as kind of a joke, she got me these macaroon highlighters, but I'm actually going to use these and love these. Like, how adorable is that? She got me, okay, so I love cows. She got me this little sign with a cow and flowers. I feel like this would be cute in the kitchen. They got me this Gilmore Girls magazine because they know I love Gilmore Girls so much and I cannot wait to read this. They also got me this gorgeous bag. It is floral with yellow, blue, and like pink flowers. Liz Claiborne. How nice is this? I really like big purses like this sometimes just for like when I want to carry all my stuff with me. I really am excited about this. And then inside was a bunch of little goodies. Then she got me this. I keep saying she, but my dad also kind of got it for me. It just, I know she picked it out, if you know what I mean. Um, but this gorgeous heart travel jewelry holder. It's just really cute. And I love the heart shape. They also got this brush holder. You could probably put anything in here, but I'm going to use it for my Thrive Cosmetics makeup brushes but it opens like this and it's just nice and gold and really elegant i just love the look of this they got me a floral umbrella from the brand ellen tracy so beautiful i'm gonna say cute and beautiful like a million times but i really like this <laughs> they got me i love avocado toast so they got me avocado toast little stuffed animals come on look at their little faces and they are, you can separate them or like put them together. Then I got this Paris bag. This is so cute. My mom actually got me another one of these last year, but a different print. And I use it so much when I travel. So this one is so nice as well. And inside she gave me this Eco Tools Bio Blender. I've already started using it. It's a beauty sponge. And she also got me another of the Macron lip balms, which I have a few of them, but I don't have this one. And they just look so cute, stacked, like almost like a little macaroon stack. So I am going to add this one to my collection. Then there was this box, which is super cute. And there's some vintage items in here, actually from my Aunt Jan. If you watched my one vintage treasure uh, video I talked about my mom's aunt Jan who passed away and how amazing she was and I was lucky enough to receive a whole bag of her vintage items check out that video if you haven't seen it yet it was so amazing but my mom for my birthday got me some of her items and I'm just so thankful this is a perfume bottle it's blue with gold details how nice and it I 
opened it, it even smelled like it. Yep, I can still smell it. It is from Avon Mesmerize. And I love Avon. I collect, not only do I collect perfume bottles, but I collect Avon as well. This is definitely going to be a great addition to my collection. This was the only item that wasn't for my Aunt Jan. This is for my mom's Aunt Jan. A little cherub perfume bottle I think she got at an antique store but super cool as well these are from my mom's aunt Jan she collected pandas she loved pandas so she gave me these two little panda figurines from her which is so sweet I'm so excited to have these to remember her by they're just so cute little pandas come on and then this is one of my favorite things i got she also gave me a fan from her and i use these all the time when i use setting spray i kind of fan myself um just because it's nice and fun and this one is so cute with the pandas on it i'm just so thrilled to have this little fan i love it i love it so much And then lastly, from my parents, they, and from Aunt Jan's items, they got me some Barbie ornaments, which I love. I only have one Barbie ornament right now, um, but this one is Holiday Barbie, and she's stunning. And then we have a Springtime Barbie, which I've never even seen this one. This is beautiful and brand new in the boxes because my, my mom's Aunt Jan was really a collector and she kept things in the boxes all the time. Um, and then Holiday Barbie, this version. So I'm so excited to open these up during Christmas time and put them on my little pink tree. Next, let's do some makeup items. So I actually placed two orders for myself just for some random things that I thought I'd share with you. So a little while back, I placed an order for the Tower 28 Daily Barrier Recovery Cream and I've been really enjoying this. So I ended up purchasing the Daily Rescue Facial Spray and the Intensive Rescue Serum. So I'm going to try these out and let you know. I'm kind of testing them now. I got a sample size of this a while back and then I decided to purchase the big size. It is the BB Hairdresser's Invisible Oil and it's like a primer and a heat protectant and kind of like a leave-in conditioner as well. So I purchased this, I really like that. I repurchased the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint in the shade three. I have been loving this, I'm wearing it today. I'm almost out of my other one. So I decided to pick this up. This is the foundation I was wearing when I got engaged. When Randy proposed, I needed something that would last all day because I knew we were going to be outside anyways, but then he proposed. So uh, this is what I was wearing and I had to purchase a new one. And then I also repurchased the Inky List Caffeine Eye Cream. I really like this product if you're looking for an affordable eye cream with caffeine in it and you know helping the appearance of tired eyes and then lastly I think oh and then I got this sample of the summer Fridays cloud dew gel cream moisturizer haven't tried that yet but I have been using the lawless perfecting powder in the shade fair it's kind of dirty but I've been using this and I do like it so far. I'm wearing that today. Uh, but then another time I went with my friend Meredith to Sephora and we got a couple things as well. Meredith gave me a very sweet gift with a Etsy gift card, which I'm so excited to uh, spend. That was super sweet, but we also did go to Sephora and I picked up more things. Uh, I got the Danessa Myricks Twin Flames Multi-Chrome. This is in Soulmate, and I'm super excited to try this. I don't know, I just was in a mood of wanting to try something fun, and it is like a multi-chrome for the eyes. I'm thinking of doing a Get Ready With Me using this because it's so pretty. It literally reminded me of a mermaid, so I had to get it, and I'm excited. I also got the Tower 28. I've been loving Tower 28, uh, if you can tell. This is the 
Milky Lip Jelly in the shade Pistachio. A lot of my coworkers talk about this and I just wanted to try it out. So that is another product. Let's actually try it now. I am wearing the Empower Matte Thrive Cosmetics Joe Lipstick but this is nice as well. Okay, so far so good. And then lastly, I got this Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods Fragrance. We both were testing out the fragrances and we both really fell in love with this perfume. So we both picked it up at, while we were at Sephora and it just smells really, really good. Yeah, it smells like such a pretty vanilla scent. Almost reminds me of like a, having a cup of tea in the morning. It's just, oh, it's leaking a little, but it's just so pretty. Such a nice scent. I really like that. Then my amazing friend Nikki got me a couple of things. She got me this very cute little butterfly eraser. How cute. Then she went to Disney on Ice and I was jealous, but she actually got me this little princess lunchbox. It says, if you can dream it, you can do it. <laughs> I love the princesses, so this was very thoughtful and funny. She also gave me these shorts that are really pretty. They're like this ivory color and they're actually really soft and I love them. She also got me this gorgeous Bridgerton bookmark, which I'm actually reading all of the Bridgerton books. I'm on number five, so this is perfect. It has these little gems on it, a crown, a bee, and a little mirror here, and then this lace part, and then this little Bridgerton uh, symbol here. So, so cute. I am so excited to use this. I absolutely love swans. So she got me this swan notebook. I love notebooks as well. How beautiful is this? Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm going to use this for yet, but I'm excited to have this. Oh, and then, oh, she got me this super cute card as well. Birthday girl. I can't even believe these thoughtful gifts. She also got me this gorgeous stuffed animal of a swan and she has a little crown. Oh my gosh. So, so cute. I am obsessed with this. Lastly, she got me this perfect mug that says, take me on a carriage ride. And if you know me, I love princessy things. I love carriages. So this is so perfect. I cannot wait to use this. Speaking of mugs, my brother and his fiance got me this happily engaged mug with this little ring on it. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. I am so excited to use this. It's also very big, which is perfect for like tea or something. And oh, the little ring detail is so cute. They also got me this bracelet that I've been wearing this whole video and I have the little pamphlet of it right here. It is actually Morse code for sister, which is amazing. And he put my brother has the best sister and it's a sister Morse code bracelet. I don't know if you can see the colors are super pretty and I love it. So that was super thoughtful as well. Michaels has a new gorgeous collection. I'm not sure if you've seen it yet, but it is called the French Manor Collection. And there's so many cute things from it, but I picked up two things that I wanted to show you. I got this little clock. It's supposed to look kind of vintage and it is gold. I haven't put a battery in it yet, but I thought this would be cute in Randy and I's bedroom. I just think it's very cute and um, like Victorian looking. So I picked up that from Michaels. It is a little sparkly. Then I also picked up this hat box or it looks like a hat box and it is blue, like a really pretty shade of blue with a bow and flower details on it. And it has gold on the edges. And I just thought it was really nice and pretty and I feel like you could fit a lot in there so I wanted to pick this up. I was just kind of drawn to it so I got this from Michael.
This is kind of random, but I got this bra from a boutique and I just thought it was so pretty. It's a pink color, but look at the back. It is so stunning with these flowers on it. I just thought that was really, really cute. From TJ Maxx, I bought myself this top here. It's almost like a little bit more bohemian style, but I thought it would be really cute with leggings. Here is a close up of it and it's just white with red and blue to it. From TJ Maxx, I also got this little night set that's actually from Laura Ashley, and it is the cutest set. It is this beautiful Cinderella blue, I feel like, with this floral and the lace, and of course a blue little bow. Like, how cute is this? And then here are the matching shorts. Love the little blue bow. I have more clothing to show you. We actually went to Ohio to visit Randy's family. It was super nice. And we went to TJ Maxx there, and that's where I got some of these things. I also got this blue super shiny top from TJ Maxx. It has the prettiest little bling detailing on the straps here and then it's just blue and it's wrinkly because it was in my bag here but isn't this so cute and silky looking and then when I was in New York I saw the same one at a different TJ Maxx and so I picked it up but it's in pink and they are just so cute with the little details the gem details and then the gorgeous pink silkiness of this one so I thought these would be cute with leggings. And then at a boutique, while I was shopping with my friend Nikki, I got this gorgeous pink, really bright pink uh, romper, but it looks like a dress. Here we go, I tied it so it looks like a little wrap dress, but really it is a romper. So I love that detail, so, so cute. And then at the same boutique, I also got this romper, which is blue with orange floral details. And it kind of has like a two layer going on at the bottom, but it is a romper and it ties in the back here like that. And I just cannot get myself enough rompers. I live in them in the summer, so I picked these up for myself. Then Randy's parents gave me a gift card, an Etsy gift card for my birthday and I was so grateful for that. I got a couple things. One thing I got was this Stars Hollow candle that I've been eyeing for years. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, it is cinnamon, chestnut, almond, and clove with uh, butter and sponge sugar. And I just love it. I love that it's Stars Hollow themed. And I also bought this gorgeous vintage boudoir cap. So in the 1920s, when women would wake up and their hair, you know, they didn't style their hair yet, they would put on a boudoir cap. And this one is made, I think, from silk and lace with these little flower detailing on the sides here. How cute is this? and it's literally from the 1920s. I had been eyeing it for a while, so I picked it up with the gift card. Let's put it on. I don't know if I'm even wearing this right, but like, how cute is this? <laughs> oh my gosh, I really love it. I feel like I'm in the 20s, and this is just so cute and fun, but I had to get it. Something drew me to it. I wanted a boudoir cap for my boudoir. And the little flower details. I don't know if you can see, but like how cute is this? <laughs> I know I look kind of silly, but I really love it. I really love the look of this. I don't think I'd ever wear it out, obviously, but I am going to enjoy it in my boudoir. <laughs> I think I look kind of silly, but I kind of love it at the same time. Like it's almost close to a bonnet. I need to get a bonnet 
but this is my little boudoir cap from Etsy. Also with that gift card from Randy's parents, I got this cute engagement journal. It says, little notes for the big day, Shannon and Randy. How cute is this? It's like a pale pink. And so I'm using this to kind of start planning for my wedding, which is so exciting. I'm just so thankful for the amazing people in my life and the thoughtful gifts here as well and I didn't mention everything you know you know who you are thank you um, but I wanted to just come on here and show you guys some of these awesome things and I hope you guys enjoyed thank you for watching bye